in collecting valid, valid and reliable data is actually trying to make it valid and reliable. So let's go into the terminology first, valid data. That means that you check that nothing else is actually affecting your data. In other words, that you're measuring what you intend to. So I have to think about it. When my research question is, are some dishwashing detergents better than others? And I change the different types of dishwashing detergent and wash them and see how much oil is left at the end. Well, what other things might affect how much oil comes off? Okay, think about that. Number one, first thing I think is, well, not only the amount of detergent that you have in there, so if you don't have the same amount of detergent in there, that's going to affect how much oil comes off. The heat of the water, if it's different between different detergent types or between different tests, well, heat also helps oil to come off. The amount of scrubbing, even the amount of oil that you put on at the beginning. If you put more oil on one plate compared to the other, then that again is going to affect what your end amount of oil is. So when we are doing trying to find valid data, we're trying to make sure that none of these things have actually changed and affected what we're measuring. Because if I change even the heat of the water, well then the data that I'm getting isn't helping to me to compare the different dishwashing detergents. I'm actually comparing a little how heat affects oil coming off instead. It makes my data invalid because I'm not measuring what I thought I was measuring.